Uh, hi, everyone. Um, we're going to do a presentation which will be picture and video about the resort. And uh, at, the end of pres at the end of the presentation, uh, we'll have some time if you have any questions. I would like to immediately start with a short video, and I hope you enjoy it. You will grow up someday. If you simply close your eyes, as if you were listening to music, you don't have to try to understand anything. Started counting up the losses, ends in your skin turning electric vibrations into heat and temperature. I'm ready to that are turning the sun into light and in that way you are creating the world but don't hurry anything just watch whatever is happening I've been holding in everything I just want to say the words out loud sort of feeling you have as if you were settling down into an extremely comfortable bed and soon you will find that the so-called outside world and the so-called inside world come together and all you're doing is watching it. I would like to go there right now, Danielle. Yeah, please, Steve, please, Steve. We are here waiting for you. So this is Siladen Aerial View. Uh, it's located right in the middle of the Bunaken Marine Park. Um, we are in Sulawesi, which is formerly known as uh, Celebes, and it's part of the greater Sunda Highland. Sulawesi is the 11th world largest island, situated between Borneo and the Maluku Islands. The Greater Sunda Island include Indonesia, they are in Indonesia, the island of Sumatra, Java, Sulawesi, and Borneo. You can fly to Manado uh, four times a week with Scoot Air, which is a subsidiary of Singapore Airlines from Singapore. It's a direct flight of three hours, 30 minutes, but you can also fly from other airports like Bali, Jakarta, and Sorong, which is the getaway to the famous Rajampat. The coral, we are right in the middle of the coral triangle, and here the coral reefs are the most diverse habitat in the sea, basically the tropical rainforest of the ocean. The coral triangle is unique, and it is the epicenter of all the coral reef biodiversity on Earth. 
as you move as you move away from the coral triangle from the Philippines Indonesia in any direction all the coral species decline dramatically from over 600 species that you have in Indonesia you go to 350 in the Great Barrier Reef or East Africa and so on diminishing Bunaken Marine Park covers roughly 345 miles, 3% of which is terrestrial, including the islands of Siladen, Bunaken, Manado Tua, Monteage, and Nain. Here there are more than 390 species of reef building coral, thousands of species of reef fish, and countless species of invertebrates that calls Bunaken Marine Park home. The, the extraordinary high levels of marine biodiversity found within the park combined with rising level of ecotourism mean that Bunaken Marine Park is considered one of the world's best dive destinations. We have easy access to over 50 dive sites of which more than half are also excellent for snorkeling. Uh, surrounding all the five islands in the marine park we have shallow reef, which makes very good uh, barrier snorkeling before the water dramatically drop off. Most sites surrounding the islands are either vertical walls or step slopes, although there are a few exceptions. The sites along the North Sulawesi mainland, for example, are mostly dark sandy slopes mixed with healthy corals, and there are also some fant fantastic shallow reefs for snorkelers too. We also have a beautiful wreck ship, which is a World War II uh, era, and in, it's very good for advanced divers. During the last few years, we have actually uh, been pushing a lot also the snorkeling. Uh, we have trained our snorkeling guides uh, to very high standards, and we are offering the same level of service that we offer to the divers for the snorkelers, which means that uh, we give one dive guide or snorkeling guide every four person, and they get all the same uh, conditions that the divers get. It's very beautiful, uh, both uh, snorkeling uh, um, around the island or uh, among all the snorkeling spots near us. Uh, but one of the most beautiful places is actually around Siladen. You enter from the beach or from the jetty, and all around the island is very beautiful. These are some of the things that you can easily see while diving or snorkeling. A lot of turtles, very, very beautiful corals, healthy reefs, and also a lot of reef fish. We have a very healthy population of turtles, mainly green and oxbill. But you, if you're lucky, you can actually see different species. Budfish, frogfish, uh, leaf fish. And we have also a lot of critter diving. Many people assume actually that Bunaken is only wall diving, but that's not true because the marine park actually covers a large section of the Sulawesi coastline, as I was saying before, where we have a very good white sand slopes, seagrass meadows, uh, and beautiful real sun uh, muck diving. Muck diving in Bunaken Marine Park is very easy to access from Silada, and it often offer, offers a uh, very good visibility compared to other famous places around Sulawesi. Uh, we have a lot of critters, almost the same amount of critters that you can see, for example, in Lembe. But it's very good also for photographers because instead of having all the low visibility, you have very clear water and very beautiful natural light. Many people tend to avoid night dives. Uh, but we actually recommend all our guests to try at the very beginning because it's one of the best experience you can have with us. It's actually my favorite dive because of the amount of critters you can see underwater. And we have very uh, safe place to do uh, night diving without currents. And you can see a lot of weird fish, including luring octopus, uh, star geyser, uh, a long armed octopus, decorator crab, pygmy seahorse, pygmy cuttlefish, bobtail squid, Spanish dancer, for example. We often have turtle hatching in our beach. Bunagan Marine Park is an important nesting ground for several turtle species. And Siladen is just two and a half uh, miles from the Bunagan Island. Uh, 
and the beach, the white sandy beach, makes a perfect place for them. We had uh, actually a turtle sanctuary that we started a few years ago in cooperation with WWF. And ever since we have been uh, releasing in the water uh, a big amount of turtles in 2019, if I'm not wrong, over 1,500. Um, We have a Paddy 5 Star Diving Center, you can see in the picture uh, on the right side on the top. We have a meeting area, briefing area, where we meet at 8 o'clock in the morning. We do a briefing and we leave for the first dive. We actually do up to four dives a day, uh, two dives in the morning. We leave at 8.15. We do maximum 70 minutes dive with an hour uh, surface interval. Then we jump for the second dive. We come back at the resort for lunch. And then we can go out for the afternoon dive at 3 o'clock. There is a mandarin dive at 4.30. And there's a night dive at 6 o'clock. And just lately, we have had the, the very beautiful uh, new dive, which is the black water diving, which uh, you know we discovered is very beautiful around our area. We have a dedicated camera room where uh, every guest has its own station to work with the camera, uh, wash them, clean them, rinse. Uh, lights, charger, stabilizer, everything available. Um, all our equipment is regularly maintained and uh, actually upgraded continuously. We have 12 liter tanks, 15 liter tanks, nitrox with uh, membrane and blending system, uh, and all uh, equipment available for rental. We have seven dive boats, they are 15 meter long. So there's a lot of space on board, and we put maximum 10 guests per boat. Every four snorkeler or divers, there's one dive guy. Our boats are, uh, some of them are in uh, fiberglass, and some of them in traditional style with wood. We use the traditional one to dive closer to the island, and then we have boats with 200 or 400 horsepower that allow us to dive even outside the marine park. I didn't say before that out of the 50 dive spots, you can get to all of them, sorry, from one minute to a maximum of 40 minutes boat ride. This is all inside the marine park. Plus we offer day trips to Banca or the Manado area with our bigger boats where you can get with about an hour. And those are full days where uh, we, sorry, I have a cat jumping around me, where, uh, uh, we actually do two dives in the morning, a barbecue on a private beach, third dive, and then we go back and get onto the island before sunset. All the boats have uh, uh, standard European American uh, uh, standard with all the facilities you need. Of course, snack, water, tea, coffee, camera, freshwater, wind tank, towels, marine toilets. We have a very beautiful sun deck on all the boats where guests can enjoy the sun during the uh, surface intervals. And all the safety equipments like O2, fire extinguisher, GPS, and our guides are all trained to very high safety standards. We have a beautiful equipment area. Uh, one of the uh, most amazing things in Siladen is that uh, we have we host maximum about 50 guests, but we have 140 people working around them. So there's a lot of attention into details. There is an equipment area 
uh, but don't get me wrong, you never touch your equipment. We collect it on the day of arrival and we make sure it's every day available on board for you. You just need to check that everything is there before we leave for the dive. Once the diving is finished, we collect it back, we wash it for you, dry, rinse, and actually now we follow all the dying guideline and procedure to wash the gear safely during this COVID situation. Every guest has its own locker, every room has its own locker where guests can find their equipment in this during the afternoon they want to make sure or they want to fix something. These are, uh, you know, part of the rooms. We also have kayaks and stand-up paddle boards available for our guests and they're all free of charge. And we have a little golf cart to, to bring the guests back and forward for our, from the jetty, because depending on the tide, sometimes we cannot leave in front of the diving center and we have to leave from the jetty of the island, which is about 200 meters away from the resort. People who do not like to walk, they have a service with our golf cart. Now let's talk a bit about the resort. Uh, we have uh, a beautiful saltwater pool, 25 by 25 meter round pool. And that's where everything up and around the pool It's where the central unit is with the bar area, the reception, the boutique and the restaurant. We just uh, actually built a beautiful tree house that you can see in the picture. And that's a multifunctional room where uh, we do yoga for the guests, we do cinema at night, presentation, or we just simply serve drinks when people like to see, to have a different view, a higher view of the area. We have a very spacious lounge area where the bar is um, with a billiard table, a library, and this is an aerial view of the island and the beach. Let's talk about the rooms. We have few categories of room. First of all, the luxury villas. We have three of them. Uh, they have their own uh, uh, living room, bedroom, open air, balini style bathroom, and their own private beach with a jacuzzi on the deck. These are very special and beautiful villas and they are uh, in the best spot of the island. The sunset is right in front and people can actually just walk into the water from the room. This is the beach right in front of the luxury villas. Then we have uh, more traditional style beach view villas, also with direct access into the water. These are about 64 square meters, uh, all built in wood, and they also have uh, open air Balinese style bathroom. All the amenities, of course, in all the rooms, from television, internet, minibar, air dryer, hot and cold water, um, everything you need if I forgot something. And then we have the garden view villas, which they are slightly smaller in size, about 48 square meters, also with the open air Balini style bathroom. Uh, same amenities, but they don't have the direct access on the beach. All the guests that book Garden View Villas, they usually spend the day around the pool and on the beach of the resort, which is very big. The resort sits on about four hectares of land. And you can imagine that four hectares of land for just 50 guests, it's a lot of space. So it's never crowded and everybody has enough space and their private space actually on the beach. Then we have two double bedroom villas. I know Steve knows about one, but we just finished to build the second one and it's right in front of the beach. The first one, uh, the one that has been there for a while, is in the garden. Each of them have uh, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a common living room. These are very good for families. They are about 160, 180 square meters. They have two open air bathrooms and all the amenities of all the other rooms. The one that you see on the bottom right, it's the newly built uh, beachfront family villa. Then we have the restaurant. 
Siladen is the only place in the Sulawesi area actually that uh, has a, an Italian chef working uh, at the resort. We have two chefs, 13 people working in the kitchen because we try to put a lot of effort for the food and we try to give the best food possible to our guests. Uh, there's a variety of local and international dishes. Most lunches are at buffet style because we want the people to quickly get back into the water, while dinners are either a la carte or special nights like uh, barbecue on the beach, uh, Indonesian traditional night, uh, Italian night, of course, and so on. Barbecues every week on the pool or on the beach. And we also have uh, uh, two different settings for the dinner. As I was mentioning before, we have 140 people working for us. So if the weather allows, we often eat uh, on the beach, uh, at lunch, under the trees, or at dinner around the pool or straight in front of the water. And then we have a restaurant, of course, if the weather doesn't allow to eat outside. We have uh, five spa rooms and we offer a variety of treatments such as Balinese massage, traditional Indonesian massage, facial, pedicure, hot stone massage. We have a therapist, a trainee actually that come every year at the resort to make sure that our therapists have very high standards. Uh, I'm not a, a spa uh, aficionado, but my wife would uh, be better to explain all the treatments. But I know that every guest that comes at the resort loves to spend time at the spa. We have couple rooms and single rooms, and we produce our own oil. This is another thing that uh, is very important with us. We don't just buy oil. But if the guests want to have a coconut scrub, we actually get a coconut from the trees, we prepare the oil and we give the scrub. And this is for all the oils. If you get sunburn, for example, we have aloe vera plants to make sure we can calm the skin. A little boutique uh, for all the needs of the guests. We produce everything in Bali and that it's also very well assorted. Let's talk about the experiences of the resort. We have uh, a lot of tours uh, from the mainland, Tancoco tours, kayaking, uh, canyoning, and every week we offer different activities also inside the resort, yoga classes for free. And in case guests want to have also yoga uh, at different time, we have instructors that can be hired uh, to give private lessons. We have one night where a local band comes for live music. Uh, we also work together with the kids of the school. They come and they make uh, some shows for the guests. We do marine life presentation, cinema, and so on. These are some of the nights that we organize. Tancoco is a very famous tour. Uh, it's a national park where you can see the smallest primate of the world, which is the Tarsius on the right, uh, but also found black crested macaque and a lot of different birds. We have trips in the mainland to explore the local culture from the um, traditional markets, Minas Island tour. We explore Danaulino, which is a lake to visit the traditional villages where they also build the wooden houses. This is what we have been doing during the lockdown. Uh, we have been closed uh, since the end of March. And uh, instead of waiting for something to happen, we have actually started a lot of refurbishing program. We have been uh, uh, working inside all the rooms, inside and outside. We have been growing our own garden. It's a project that we had in mind for a long time. And now we started planting our own plants, our own fruits, a lot of uh, different spices, so that once we will be able to reopen, we will be, if possible, even better than before. 
This is a short video about the Lopa. Looking forward to see you soon in Siladen. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to also tell you that uh, you know uh, we're really trying to take care of all our staff. We keep uh, providing free electricity for the entire island for a few hours a day. Uh, we keep uh, paying a part of their salary, and we pay all our team the social insurance to make sure they have access to the healthcare. And to those who cannot. Uh, come to work at all, uh, we still provide uh, uh, money to allow them to buy food uh, and basic supplies. We create internal procedures following the World Health Organization and government recommendation. Our main goal is actually to keep staff and guests safe while providing the best possible service to every guest. We have been uh, training all the departments on how to properly sanitize all the areas of the resort. To support the local village, we actually donated the uh, fabric to the village and they have been doing masks for us. And uh, we have, of course, also bought different kind of masks from suppliers with logo and things. And that's all for my presentation. I hope you liked it. Uh, I wanted to say that we really miss the guests. It's very hard to be close. We're, we're trying our best uh, to get through this. I hope all you stay safe. And as soon as it will be possible, we are there for you. If you have any question, please let, it, let me know. Kelly, that was amazing. Um, I have a lot of people that are saying, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for helping out the island and the people that are on the island and your staff. Everybody loves that. So I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, I do have a couple of quick questions. When is the best time of year to visit Saladin specifically for the sea turtle hatching? Uh, actually, it's good 12 months a year. Sometime we have two hatches in a month and sometime we don't have any. Uh, but uh, one of the nicest things with the turtle hatches is that we actually publish on our uh, F, uh, Facebook page when the turtle come to make the nest. And we know for sure that it takes about 60 days, it may be 58, 59, 61, 62, for the turtles to come out. So people who follow us will know when is the right time to come and see them going into the water. That's awesome. I've always wanted to be there for that. So please. Um, let's see. What's the best time of year to visit Saladin? What kind of water temperatures do we have? Is there a lot of fluctuation in air temperature? So we are uh, one degree above the equator. Um, the water temperature is all year around about, I say it in uh, centigrade, it's 28 degrees, which Sorry, I'm very bad with uh, American metric, I think, That's but nice it's very warm. warm. It's very warm. You dive with uh, Lycra or three millimeter. That's good enough. And uh, sometimes we get thermocline at deeper water. Our dives are usually between uh, 10 to 30 meter deep. Um, and the water, it's always, it doesn't go below 27 usually. Um, time, time of the year, 
Silad and it's open 12 months a year. Every two years we close for one month to make a big general maintenance of all the machinery. And usually it's in January. January, February, it's considered the rainy season, but I've been living that for almost 20 years and I can say that that doesn't really work. You can get showers once in a while, but you don't get monsoon. So when it rains, it may run for an hour or two at worst, and then you get sun back again. I would say my, my favorite months are actually June, uh, October, November, because while Siladen usually is pretty fully booked, uh, the marine park in general, those months is not very crowded. And I love when there's not many people around. And how far is the on-island airport from the resort? I forgot to say that. So once you arrive, uh, once you arrive uh, at the airport, we will pick you up with our car. Uh, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes by car, and then about 30 minutes by boat to get into the island. Awesome, easy. Uh, do, the re do the restaurants that you have on site offer vegetarian options? Of course, we gather vegetarian, vegan, uh, once the guests book we are with us, we would send uh, uh, a form to fill up to make sure we know all the uh, needs of the guests. And that includes for diving, for food, and uh, we always have at the buffet. So in the morning, uh, the breakfast is, a la, is buffet, where you have uh, every morning six different kind of croissants. A uh, few different kinds of fruits, four hot dishes, a live station with eggs, bacon, sausages, homemade yogurts, and cereals, and a lot of other things. Uh, cold cuts with cheese or ham. And then at lunch, we have a uh, few different appetizers, usually six different appetizers. Two live stations, one is usually with pasta and another one is at a fish or meat. And then we have uh, six chef and dish with a lot of vegetarian option. There is always rice available and six different desserts. We produce everything in house, not only the spa oil, but also the food. We make our own bread, our own chocolate, our own croissant, and that's for everything. And you're making me hungry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, Danielle, are the air, are the rooms there, excuse me, air conditioned or are they open all, air? All the rooms are air conditioned, all of them. There is no room without air conditioning. Good to know. And is the resort family friendly? Is it good for young kids? The resort is very family friendly. Uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, family rooms. Uh, and the beautiful swimming pool where usually the kids uh, like to play around. Um, we have uh, babysitting seats uh, available at the resort. The kids can uh, go together with the parents on the boat or can stay at the resort depending on the age, of course. Um, but our staff is very well trained and take care very nicely of the kids. I myself have two little girls that they grew up at the resort. So we are actually very well uh, prepared for kids. And what, besides yoga, what other group activities are organized by the resort? Uh, besides uh, yoga, uh, diving and snorkeling. We do a lot of activities uh, inside and outside the resort. Uh, kitchen courses, um, 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 how do you call it? Hiking, trekking outside of the resort. You can do the tour of the island all around the island. You walk around the island in about 45 minutes or you can do it with kayaks in an hour. Uh, then depending on the groups or the people that come, we, of course, gather uh, personally to each group, depending on their needs. That's what makes the difference when you have 140 people working for 40 guests, for 50 guests, sorry. Sounds so nice. I'm glad to know I'm not the only hungry person. I'm getting a lot of other food questions also. <laughs> are, the, are there all-inclusive or are there a la carte options? Are there, I 
I don't know that there's anywhere else to eat on the island. So the price includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, of course, taxes, there's no hidden cost. Water, coffee, it's included, tea. In the afternoon, you will find fruit and, and cakes every afternoon at the bar. Everything is included. The only things you will have to pay for are drinks like alcohol, spirits, uh, soft drinks. Those are charged. The spa, you have to pay for. Dang it. Worth it, though. For sure. And Daniele, is the, is the resort currently open to Americans? And if not, do you know when it will be? Indonesia is closed for tourists at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the date yet. We were hoping for an earlier opening, but looking at what's happening around the world, uh, I am concerned it will not be very soon. We are there ready, but we need to wait the government that gives us the approvals to open. Uh, hopefully before the end of the year, if that doesn't happen, you know, there were rumors that Indonesia could open in September, then they say it in October. Some rumors say at the end of the year. The sooner the better, as soon as they will open the borders, we we'll love to have all the American guests with us. We can't wait. I have so many people that are asking, when can I go, when can I go, when can I go? I want to go also. We can't also. wait as well. I promise we can't wait. I never thought I would miss working so much. Never. Well, we can't wait to see you. We hope it's really, really soon. I get a bit emotional about it, really. <laughs> Us too. Oh, we miss you guys so much. We're so sad that we can't see everybody in person this year. But I can still see some faces, so it's really nice. It's better than nothing, for sure. I wanted to jump in real quick, Kelly, and just yep. uh, give a personal endorsement. I've been to Saladin, um, a few times and uh, it's an amazing place. When Daniele talks about the food, he's being very humble. Um, their chefs are unbelievable and uh, the food there is out of this world, over the top. I think Jane can jump in. She was one of the first ones that, that went there from here and <laughs> she just gave us a thumbs up. When she came back, she couldn't stop talking about, what was it, the chocolate bread? The chocolate croissant. She yeah. loved the chocolate croissant. That's what I remember. <laughs> she just sent me a message. It says, the food there is so freaking good. Yeah. Thank you. One, one of my favorites is the uh, risotto balls that they have at lunch. Oh, my God. Supli. That's amazing. <laughs> um, and then the diving is incredible. I mean, I did a dive there. One time where we saw, we counted 34 turtles on one dive. I mean, no kidding, 34 turtles. There were so many that the dive master took out his slate and started making hash marks. And there were 34 by the time we ended the dive. One dive. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Let's go. Um, Let's go. I'm packing my bags. And the resort itself is beautiful. The staff is amazing. Um, the... Uh, managers Miguel and Anna do an incredible job. Um, Danielle and his wife, when they're there, of course, are incredible hosts as well. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing place. I'd highly recommend people look at it and whoever wins this prize is going to be one lucky person because it's an incredible, incredible trip. Awesome. Thank Danielle. you so much, Steve, Thanks Kelly, so much. Jane.